This is what I wake up to every morning. Sharing a pillow with a puppy dog. She's a good dog. Hey, everybody Ann here, sitting here having my iced coffee with all of you inside the tiny house because it's been raining, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, but whew, I tell you what, I look terrible. I haven't even brushed my hair. I keep saying that every... Every morning you get to see the real deal. This is the real deal right here. This is what I look like when I get up in the morning. <laughs> uh, anyhow, sorry for the sound of the fans. And today, don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm still kind of in my chill out mode. You know what? I kind of like this mode. I'm getting used to chilling out in the freaking heat. So uh, I may, I may make this a regular habit every single day. Until I run out of money and then I got to go to work. Uh, Thank goodness it's raining. All my plants will get watered. Even those, they don't, those don't need to be watered because they're fake. Nothing would grow in those things. So my mom gave me those flowers and I just put them up there and I figured they're kind of pretty. Yes, finally, at last, it's raining. It actually was raining a little bit harder just a little bit ago. And I do have things set up around the tiny house to collect water. This thing collects a lot of water. Hopefully, this is intact. Yup, it is. It is. And it is bringing in quite a bit of water. That's good because this was almost empty. Oh, thank goodness. It is so pretty out here when it rains. I mean, I'm literally just walking around in the rain. And you know what this means too? There's gonna to be more mushrooms in a couple days. But that is my property all the way over. See that big tree there? That one? Um, the tree line all the way back there. It goes way, 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 way far back there. I'll take you for a complete tour one of these days. Across the stream, way over there to where the hill starts going up. And then all the way over there to the street. Oh yeah, I just love it when it rains. I love coming out here and going for a little walk. I don't care if I get soaked, it does not matter. I'm gonna give that uh, little piece of wood thing away to a friend. She needs it for her trailer. And one of these days, I'm going to get rid of that pile of wood, too. Mr. Lucas came over yesterday, just showed up again and mowed my lawn. So I'm going to go into town today and get him his favorite beer. Um, yep. Yep, I've been working on that a little bit, too. Is that an omen? Is it an omen? <laughs> Anyhow, yep, rain is good. Rain is always good. And it cools everything down, too. Look at my little tomatoes ripening in the window. I haven't made any fried green tomatoes yet. And look, they're they're basically, I can't do it anymore, except for maybe that one right there. I could probably make them with that. They're ripening up good, so I'm gonna make something yummy with them. Maybe not today, though. There is truly nothing better than the rain pouring down and the sun still being out because I'm getting water and I'm getting energy all at once. This is a fantastic blessed day. Oh, and I did want to tell you guys, over by that wood pile there, I dropped in a bag of mothballs. I have not seen one single snake or any activity of snake. And I also dropped one uh, right, be, right in the steps. There's a board that uh, separates the steps, and it's inside the steps, so Judy can't get to it. And yeah, it smells a little bit, and probably there will be people who will say, Oh my God, you shouldn't put it so close to your front door. Well, guess what? No snakes, and I can put up with the odor. A lot of you are going to say, oh, it's toxic for dogs. Well, people have used these in their closets for years, and their dogs aren't dying. So, yeah, it's great. No snakes. Nothing even remotely snake-like has been coming up to my property. In fact, the skinks have even been staying away. But this, this is great weather right here. There's water coming from the sky and electricity coming from the sky, so today is blessed. Look at that. My solar on this side of the house is charged to 90% and it's been raining. That is a bonus. Look at Miss Judy. She just loves that hedgehog. 
She hasn't tore it up. It's like she loves it. Like it's her baby. She grooms it and snuggles with it. If that ain't cute, I don't know what is. She just loves her hedgehog. Look at that. I got dead flies. This thing works. It hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet, and I'm already killing flies. Boy, I tell you what, they're getting really bad, so I hope I kill a lot of them. Here's a picture of the oyster mushrooms I fried up. I just sliced them down, kind of sliced them up into strips and dipped them in seasoned flour. And then I dipped them in a batter that I made out of all-in-one pancake mix. And some people do the batter first and then the flour, but I found that the batter sticks better if you just, you know, put it in the flour first and then coat it with the batter put it in a pan and fry it up and oh my goodness it is just so so very delicious it tastes just like chicken fingers I found this mushroom yesterday while scouring Judy's area for poisonous mushrooms and this is definitely not a poisonous mushroom you can tell because the underside the the pore surface is yellow as opposed to red. I found many with the red undersides. You don't want to eat them. They are more than likely poisonous, but this one has two colors, basically red and yellow, and it's a big, beefy, gorgeous mushroom. I cannot wait to cook this up. I don't know how it's going to taste, but I'm definitely going to eat it. But uh, just look at it. It's beautiful, lovely red and yellow coloring. And also, once you slice into it, the flesh is all yellow and it doesn't bruise blue. What I mean by bruising blue is once you cut into a mushroom or you bruise it, you squeeze it in some way, if it turns color, especially if it turns a blue color, it is more than likely inedible and it may even be poisonous, but this one did not. It did not change colors. So this is a bicolor bolete. It is edible, and I am going to cook this up. I haven't decided how, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Well, I'm in town. I hate going to town, but I need to pick up Mr. Lucas beer because he uh, mowed my lawn and picking up a pack of smokes too. Shh. And I'm with my Miss Judy. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, Judy. Say hello. <laughs> She's a sweet baby. All right, here we go. There we go. Beer and smokes in hand. No, Judy, you can't have any. They ran out of 12 packs of plain old Budweiser, so I had to give them two six packs of the tall ones. I don't think they'll mind, do you? What do you think, Miss Judy? <laughs> All right, I'm leaving town, and I hate going to town. I would never leave my property if I didn't have to. So I'm just gonna drop by Mr. Lucas, drop him off his stuff, and then go home, and you know what I gotta do? I have to, I have to rearrange the inside of the tiny house because I'm gonna relocate all of the solar over to the other side, and that means I can't have that bed there. There's no way I can have the bed there because um, I'd have nowhere to put the battery. So that's gonna be my project for today. I probably will show it to you in the next video or the video after that. But some people had asked me about how to make YouTube videos, how to get started and whatnot. There's plenty of videos out there, but I'm gonna give you my take on it. I'm not an expert or anything, um, but I've been making videos and I know what I like to see when I'm watching other YouTube videos. And uh, so I'm gonna impart my wisdom on all of you. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Looks like it's nap time for the girl. Oh my goodness, she is the best dog ever. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.